the United National Party's position on SIPA is that we are not against the SIPA. Uh, in principle, we are for agreements with other countries uh, where we can benefit. So, uh, therefore, SIPA is also one such agreement if uh, negotiated properly. Uh, this country can benefit particularly if by taking advantage of the rapidly increasing middle class of India. However, what we are against is the position of the government uh, that there needs not be any discussion on SIPA with the opposition nor with any professional and civil society in Sri Lanka. We are against that. We do not know what this agreement is all about. So, therefore, what we are asking the government is to please table this document in parliament. We will have a debate in parliament about uh, the pros and cons of SIPA. Uh, and then we will take it from there. So, I want to make uh, that very clear. In fact, it was the UNP regime between 2002 and 4 that started the, the discussions on SIPA. The joint study group was set up in 2003. Uh, the UNP government, then government, also started discussions with the United States of America for a free trade agreement with them and also successfully negotiated uh, to receive more than $250 million in grants from the Millennium Challenge Corporation. Then we started negotiating for uh, the preliminary uh, negotiations for an agreement with Singapore. It is the UNP regime of that time that started the negotiations with the European Union on GSP+. So if you look back, it is very clear that uh, the, the UNP is for agreements that are beneficial to Sri Lanka. Right? So, so uh, in principle, like I said once again, we are not against the SIPA. It's just that uh, there has to be a, 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 a much more comprehensive discussion, debate on SIPA. And the government must not hide this draft from the opposition and, and the rest of the public in Sri Lanka. They must come out with this. Once they come out with this, then we will make our position clear. You know, what should be uh, in, the, in the positive list? Whether barbers should be in the positive list? There is a big harm about Indian barbers coming and taking over the hairdressing business in Sri Lanka. So all these barbers <laughs> will have to be shut down. Now, in the in service agreements, usually, what we have are positive lists. Uh, that is, unlike in the trade agreement, we have we have a negative list. In that, you have a list, and everything outside of that list uh, becomes eligible for the duty reductions. In a service agreement, usually, we have a positive list. That means you have a list, and only on those identified services. Will the agreement be effective? Whether you are reducing uh, uh, the regulations or what have you. Only on those identified services. So, people who are protesting are also people who are uh, connected to the government. And they are the people who are saying that the Indian barbers are coming. So, we like to ask the question from one of the GLP who was the, 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 the key person behind uh, the negotiations until it was almost signed in 2008, whether he actually agreed to open up the barber service in Sri Lanka to the Indians. Right? And uh, so we do not know. So that is why we say and that uh, we need to have a greater discussion of this before uh, we really come out uh, with our exact position, but on principle, uh, we are not, we are not opposed.